Good morning, everybody. This is going to be a video on how to open an assignment and put it into Kami and then turn it in when you are finished. So on my screen, you can see now um, the day nine assignment for South Carolina history. And the directions say open the document in Kami. Then you're going to read and answer the questions as you go. Type your answers in Kami and submit the completed assignment to Canvas when you finish. So that is exactly what we are going to do in this video. So first, we're going to click on the actual assignment. And it's going to download. Uh, now, I'm on a MacBook. This may look a little bit different on your, um, on your Chromebook but I'm going to open that and when it opens um, since I don't have an option here to open it in Kami I'm going to make sure that it is downloaded just save that then I'm going to come up here to the top and open Kami see it's this if you have it downloaded uh, if you don't have it as an extension on your Chromebook, you need to add that. But it should be up here um, or maybe somewhere along. Or you can just open Kami.com. But I'm going to click on that. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's going to open Kami. This is what you see when you open Kami. I am going to click on Open from computer and click on well I don't have to click on recents it's the first one there so I'm going to choose it and open it and this is what it looks like when it comes up okay I'm not real sure what that is we're going to close that so now I have my lesson in Kami, and you do not have to annotate this, but if you want to, um, the easiest way to do this would be to draw on it, um, and you can underline things if you want to, or you could do shapes um, and put a box around something if you need to. Um, the highlight tool does not work really well uh, when you have a PDF like this. We have found it's just easier to draw on it and use underlining or, or shapes. So I'm going to read through this and I'm going to pay close attention to uh, details here. Uh, you know, I might need these men's names for some reason. So I'm going to read like a good student and I'm going to take notes as I need to and then when I get down here to the bottom um, it gives me a box to try it so here I'm going to need to type so I'm going to put a text box you can make that however big you want and here is where I will type my answer um, Obviously, I'm not going to give you the answers. Ha, ha, ha. It's not your lucky day today. Um, for Think It Through, for the lesson practice down here, uh, when you have multiple choice, we can go back to those drawing things and pick a, a shape, and we can just um, do like that and just make a box around it. Um, <clears throat> and I just showed you an example on the first one. That is not necessarily the correct answer. So now I am finished. Um, not really, but you get the idea. And Kami saves automatically. So if you notice right here, where'd it go? Well, it had saved up here before. But anyway, now I'm going to go over here to download. Uh, there is a save option there if you want to make sure. Uh, but it does save automatically. But you could go to save now. And it says it's saving, but autosave should be checked. 
Make, you might want to check on that. Make sure auto save is checked. But now I'm going to go over here to download. It's the arrow with a line under it. Click download. It's going to say your computer. That should be the box that is highlighted. Then make sure PDF with all annotations is selected. Notice the file name. It's going to be Cami Export Dash and then the name of the document that you have open. We want to make sure to include all pages and then we're going to click Begin Export. Now, while that is processing, it just says Export Document. You don't need to do anything else on this Cami page. Go back to the Canvas Assignment and when you get there, you're going to click Submit Assignment and come down. You'll see File Upload. You're going to choose the file. Now, here again, mine looks different, but you're going to click on Recents. Okay, mine's not there yet. Hold on. And you're looking for in yours it's going to be there with the with the recents, but mine I'm having to look for it for some reason. So anyway, I have found now my Cami export. I'm going to select it and click open. Again, yours if you will go to recent, it should be the first one. But since I'm on my MacBook, it looked a little bit different. So I have I have clicked on choose file. Now there it is, Cami Export 8th Social Studies Day 9.pdf. I'm going to click Submit Assignment. You can see it is submitting. Still submitting. Insert Jeopardy Music. Ah, here we go. So now it is submitted. You can see now this is the same assignment page. Oh gosh, a bird just hit the window. Um, not sure if you heard that or not, but it startled me. So over here on the side, we have the submission. It says that you submitted it to shows the date and the time. And right here you see submission details. If you are just wanting to make sure that you submitted the right thing, you can click on this and it will download it and you can then open it and see exactly what you submitted and it should be your assignment with your annotations you can see my annotations are there my answers clever as they might be um, those are there and you are sure that you downloaded the right thing um, if for some reason you did not, you can always hit resubmit and try again. But double check and make sure you are sending us the correct assignment. Um, if you don't do it this way, we will not be able to open it. And if we can't open it, we cannot grade it. So please, 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 if you have any questions, um, you can email me, even if I don't teach you. Uh, Sonia.capitosti at spart2.org. Hope that helps and hope to see you real soon.